got a good we got a good crowd here. Uh, what I will say, as usual, is if people don't mind, if you're asking questions, um, make sure you ping me. That way, I know to jump to the channel and uh, and see it. Right now, I'm I'm viewing Dow VC chat, but I also have the presentation up, so I'll kind of be going back and forth between the two. Um, so if you shoot it into uh, like NFT Alpha or Federation or wherever, um, again, just make sure you ping me on it. That way, I can get to it. But Welcome to our VC tonight. Uh, for those of you tuning into YouTube, you know, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I have been, uh, I wouldn't say avid, I've been been keeping up to date on it. So I did post uh, the last two voice chats yesterday on YouTube. So if you had, didn't have a chance to go check them out, feel free to go check them out. Uh, they don't get a crazy amount of view, but I, I think for the people that are looking for the content, uh, I think it's definitely helpful um to go back and kind of reference certain things i probably should do a better job at, at jotting down maybe i could take the notes from um the updates and, and throw that into like the description on top of all the other things that are in there it might just be helpful from a uh, a tracking's perspective if anybody's looking for something specific um not sure i'm not sure how much extra work uh to put into them if people are going to watch them or not so Hopefully what, what we put out there is, is decent for, for those that want it. Um, but yeah, without, without further ado, we can kind of jump into our VC this week. Uh, we, we obviously have one of, the, one of the more fun updates, I'll say, within the ecosystem um, in, in a little minute. Uh, although, I guess a lot of our updates are pretty fun, but we did uh, go out with our Tier 1 uh, TFFs. Um, so I, I know I'm kind of going out of order on this slide, but I think that's the the more eye-catching piece to it. Uh, so, of course, those of you guys that are in here should be familiar with the fact that you can upgrade your TFFs to Tier 1. Um, it does come with, of course, the, the art upgrade, uh, similar attributes as they are for Famous Foxes, just in a pixelated version. So, um, And they're all done v from Xeno. From Zeno, uh, and you know it's it's quite fun too. A, a lot of people I've seen comments, um, you know, being surprised for like the level of detail that's able to be transferred from uh, famous foxes to transdimensional foxes because it's not easy. These are, I believe, thirty-four by thirty-four pixels, um, so you really don't have a, a lot of room to work with, and. You know, there's just like a lot of detail in general in the foxes and the famous foxes. So I think like the tier two and the tier three, I'm very eager uh, to see the renditions of those. Um, but they're super fun. The, the uh, you know people seem to to love them. We had a bunch of upgrades happen on them. Um, of course, in anticipation for uh, next weekend for missions, as we will we'll be introducing kind of the scalability to missions. So I'll touch on that in the next slide here, but. As far as traits go for TFFs, uh, same prices as Famous Foxes, so trait unlocks um, for the tier 1s are 10 k apiece, uh, for the tails 10 k as well, and for the background change color is 5000 for each uh, background color. The nice thing is, um, at least for, for all you know, three, technically four of these, you can preview them prior to purchasing, so... Um, if you go into your uh, Fox profile and you scroll down to whatever TFF you want, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can go ahead and, and select you know the, the tier one uh, option in the top right hand corner. Um, do the view for either the head or the the outfit, and then you can do the background changes. You can go to the extras. You can do the tail. Um, so super helpful to make up your decision as to what you would like to get. Um, the only caveat that I would put here that I know I'll mention as well on, on this uh, slide that mentions the chest updates is that in order to, to unlock that, um, that tier one Fox, um, in order to get like an additional chest for the transdimensional or famous Foxes, you have to have both the head and outfit upgraded. So, um, so just to put that out there for folks that are that'll be going through, and and we'll make it abundantly clear on the UI um, whether you'll you'll be eligible for the extra chest or not. Um, but just as a heads up for for folks that are in here. So yes, yeah, so that's our our, our tier one uh, upgrade. I know I jacked up that one thing up top, but um, 
we we added a, a bit to citrus this week, uh, which I, I know I also touched on uh, on additional slides, but it shows uh, your all time stats under your profile just as like a starter. So if you're on your profile page on the left hand side, um, you'll see all the stats that show up within there. Uh, super super helpful, and um, you know it, it's one of those things that I think would be really would be really fun for me to see in like uh, retrospect. Um, on Sharky, as I, I've learned, learned a lot on there, but, um, but yeah, just in general for folks that are, are curious, you can see that information, um, now in Citrus under your uh, profile section. And we did also add in loan details to the feed, so there's a little, um, information button, or, or, I don't know what you want to call it, we'll call it a button, but if you hover over it, It'll show you like what the terms were for that specific loan that's either been uh, borrowed or repaid. So if you see the activity feed on the right hand side, again you'll see that little icon um, on there. I guess icon is a better word for it, but you can hover over that and see the details associated for it. And then the only other one that like I put under quality of life here is a uh, Foxy Mint, which supports minting and updating royalty enforced PNFTs. Um, and the, the print feature isn't supported yet for PNFTs uh, by Metaplex as of now. Uh, it's, it's for a couple of reasons, but it's more so just from the technical standpoint of the, um, like ha having the owner account like being transferred via that same like print mechanism or like an airdrop, if you will. <coughs> it's, it's uh, something that I think will have like a, better solution for in the not so distant future but as of right now um that that's not capable in print specifically sorry i have a little bit of a dry dry cough going on here all right but uh let's jump on the next slide so um citrus we did we, we launched citrus uh, I don't even know. Was it last week? Was it two weeks ago? I don't even know at this point. I think it's. I think it's been close. Sixteen years ago. Close to yeah, close to two weeks. Um, and 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 yeah. So this week we added in a couple of of pretty solid features. And actually, I had some pretty interesting uh, conversation earlier with uh, with Zen, who was just in here from um, from Solana Hills uh, project. But uh, two of the things that we did, so we did borrow offers, so now people can go and put in um, borrow terms, you know, if you have, as an example, it's, it's more of a niche product in my opinion, uh, but for either rarer NFTs that you want to try to get more liquidity for, or if you want like longer terms at different interest rates or shorter terms at different interest rates, uh, it gives just that availability for borrowers to kind of put their terms that they are interested in getting. Um, I actually, I filled, uh, I think it was a COPE FFF earlier. Um, so there was someone that had put in quite a few uh, borrow terms in there, which was kind of fun. The, the TFFs I thought were a little high uh, for myself, so I didn't, I didn't pick any of those up. But I think it's... Uh, a, a pretty awesome product. Again, I do think it's a little niche. I think it's, uh, you know, based off of getting more and more volume into Citrus, I think it'll, that'll be more used more often um, as it, it seems like what's popular right now is trying to get, like, whatever offers you really can off the floor. Um, but I could see a world in which there were certain people that want to get additional liquidity if they could for something rarer. So, um, so yeah, so the way to, to see that if you're lending is if you're on the Lend page, there's another tab um, next to New Offer that's shown here as, like, NFT listing. I think my mouse shows up. Um, and if you click on NFT listing, you'll just see all the loans that are, are listed in there that you can pick up if you want to. Uh, terms should start, if I'm not mistaken, from highest floor price to lowest floor price. Um, so if you're scrolling through trying to see all the other uh, borrow offers that are in there, or I'll say listings that are in there. Uh, feel free to scroll through that. The terms are again based off of whatever they had created, so it's not necessarily not necessarily that the um, lowest APY or highest APY or, or shortest or longest will be first. It goes default by floor price. 
Um, so just want to put that out there for folks. So check it out if you're interested. Again, I think there's a bunch in the FFF, or, or I think there's one in FFF, but a bunch in the TFFs if anybody wants to go and check them out. Uh, the second option, I think, the second item that we added on here, I think is a, a pretty a pretty sweet um, addition into the lending space. And it was part of the reason that I was mentioning earlier that Zen was <laughs> was uh, conversing with uh, a few folks in Alpha, and then I also jumped in voice chat. I know Pugs was in there for like a minute um, to kind of talk back and forth on like the way in which it's created and if it in the long run creates a bigger problem. I don't think that's entirely true, but it's um, a reborrow option. So basically, instead of having the full amount of sold necessary to pay off your current loan, uh, you can basically use a loan offer that's out there to repay your current loan and you know basically go into a new set of terms with a new lender. Um, so it's basically reusing like a current loan that's offered out there to pay off your previous loan. There might be a discrepancy too. You might owe more soul. I mean, as an example, if floor price went down or if the next offer is lower than what your previous loan was, you might have to make up the additional soul in order to um, take out that new loan. Um, but on the contrary side, if the floor price goes up or offers you know come in and, and they're higher and you're able to um, take out a new loan that's that's more soul. You can have maybe some additional capital um, left over, you know, to to do whatever you would like to from a lending side. Um, we look at it as more of a convenience factor, and then also you know the ability to have um, less loans default in theory. Um, but you know the the main concern that was hap was being brought up earlier was just the fact of well what if the person themselves like can't in theory pay off that loan like eventually like there's going to be one point or another in which that person defaults um, should you know the lender kind of know that um, based off of whoever's taking on their terms and their suggestion was adding in a toggle button where you could either accept or not accept a uh, a reborrow. I, I don't know. I don't think it has to be that complicated, in my opinion. And if anybody else has comments or suggestions on it, I'm open to them. But I look at it as being uh, again a convenience factor. And if lenders are the ones that are creating the terms, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing for a borrower to be able to reborrow, especially if you know using any collection foxes as an example. If tomorrow our floor price goes up to a hundred. Um, you know, if people want to get additional liquidity from that pump in the market, if you will, and there's lenders out there that are willing to lend higher based off of that, um, there should be kind of the option to be able to do it. It doesn't impact, you still pay full interest, you still pay full fee, um, on the previous loan and you still are expected to pay full interest and full fee on the loan you reborrow for, um, it's just more so a convenience factor as far as I'm concerned. I know there are certain people that use loans often that will be pretty happy for it, but I think it's a, a pretty awesome a pretty awesome option in lending. I'm going to pause for a second. I don't know if anybody has any questions or suggestions. I see, uh, I see your comment here, Trades. Let's see what you wrote. Basically just giving people... Water lens... Water lens report to the principal's office. Water lens does he is he non non uh, optimized? Non optimized. Uh oh, water, you're in trouble. Uh, the reborrow option. Someone just needs another NFT. You can borrow against pay off first lender. When you care. Yeah, exactly. I I, I agree 100 percent with you. Trade up on that. So, um, since lenders are making the terms, in my opinion, it doesn't necessarily matter. And, and I've even, you know, for what it's worth, I've even seen the case too, and, and I'm sure there's a bunch of people in here that might be in, that might have been in the same boat where someone they know has taken a loan where they might not be able to pay it off. So they, uh, you know, I either send an NFT to somebody to try to get some liquidity to buy it out, you know, sell it and then send it back. I mean, you put in these like, you know, I'm not going to say the, the best situations for people um, that are, are doing it, but Again, it all depends on the reason that you're, you know, lending against NFTs. I wouldn't suggest it for just anybody to take liquidity out. Like, you definitely want to have a reason for it. Um, 
you know, even if that reasons to, like, hedge Soul's price action or what have you. Um, but, yeah, we'll, I won't digress too much into that. We'll talk, I, I know, I know Pug was asking about it before, so I'll talk a little bit about, more about lending after, um, after VC wraps up. But, uh, again, just to kind of give my opinions and insights from things that I've messed around on, if anybody's interested in sticking around for that. All right, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drink more water. I know I'm dying here. All right. Uh, last slide I have here. Let's talk about missions. So, missions this week, very straightforward. Um, I, I will apologize to those of you that are, are <laughs> spot on at 11 o'clock. I know there was a couple of minute delay for getting the, the Giga um, fame missions up. Um, primarily because there was a slight issue with that. Uh, I'm going to mute you real quick, Chili. Um, but yeah, there was just a, a slight issue with us getting those ones launched um, for Foxes being able to go out on them. But uh, as it stands right now, if you haven't sent your Foxes out, there are two fame-only missions um, one is like the normal, uh, fame only, which I believe will stay standard going forward, uh, 5.4k fame, uh, 8k fame, uh, with a den, and then for, for famous foxes, yeah, and then for, um, the level 20, uh, mission, the giga fame mission, uh, it's 14k fame for a regular fox, 18k fame for a regular fox with a den, so, that's just for this weekend, uh, you know, it's essentially just during our transition period, um, switching over to the new chest reward system, <coughs> yeah. sorry about that, um, and, and, and yeah, so that, that's the missions that are live this week, uh, there were people that were talking about, you know, wanting to go the, the foxy route, which is perfectly fine, you're more than welcome to, to stake in V1 staking, if your um, goal is to try to get more foxy to upgrade your foxes, I totally understand that. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't launched your foxes yet, definitely jump in there. I realized uh, today actually, just based off of how missions have been, like I've been pretty good with sending like two foxes out with with one den on missions for the most part. Uh, this week I've realized how many, how many more dens I need to get to have a one for one, uh, sad. ratio. I need so, many more dens. so many more dens and there are definitely not enough dens out there. Um, but yeah, I, I digress. And then the, the last piece to put in here is just to talk a little bit about the chest updates. So added a little bit of color today, um, but yeah, at, at the end of the, technically the 23rd, that, that's when... Um, the current chest tokens will no longer be valid, so just make sure you redeem them um, before. I still have a few I have to go through, even though I did that chest opening party on Thursday night with um, decoders. Um, and the chest will be replaced with a new token. Uh, address, mission rewards will undergo change as well. TFFs get uh, one chest per mission. Um, FFFs get four, and you get an extra chest for each tier you upgrade. And, then, and again... For those that might not have been in here earlier, that that tier upgrade counts only if you have both the the head and the body or outfit unlocked. So you need to have both of them for that to count. Um, so for FFFs, four chests for base tier one is plus five, one for a total of five. Tier two is plus one for a total of six. Uh, for TFFs, it is one chest plus one for a total of two for tier one and plus one, so a total of three for uh, tier two uh, TFF. So, hey, can you toggle your screen share off and on again? Sure, of course. Are we getting GG'd by portals? Is that what's? Uh, maybe it's a new bug. I'm not sure. I'll report it. Oh, why did it do that? Uh, one sec. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'm back. The good, the good thing is, like, that's just me wrapping up here, so I'll kind of take a breather. I'll see if there are um, questions. Let's see in here. Uh, Goblin, I thought TFFs were getting, like, the 14 and 18k fame, too. Yeah, the, um, 
you bring up a good point, Goblin. That's one thing I, I have to talk with Dev about to figure out, like, the, the better strategy for theme going forward for TFFs. Um, in, in the current model, it would... Like, I don't know if, if the main goal, in theory, would be to make it so, like, TFFs can't transfer to FFFs, like, just because of, like, the price discrepancy, and then if you basically stack the same amount of fame on top of it, um, would make them a little bit more OP from, like, a fame generating standpoint, uh, or if that's just kind of, like, baked in, like, the gamification model, um, if we do go from the root of, of having redu reduced fame, uh, for TFFs to an even amount of fame with FFFs. <clears throat> yeah, it's true, we could add, we could add a bigger penalty, um, if it's trans, if it's being transferred, like, between species. That, that could even be true, too, for FFF to TFF. Um, this would be something that I have to consider as well. But yeah, I let me let me talk with Dev to figure out um, a better fame strategy for it going forward. Uh, chest opportunity party, chest opening party, uh, jumping friend stream after this VC, okay. You're gonna, are you gonna open all 419 tonight, trade up? <laughs> Depends on how long it takes. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'd be really curious. I mean, I you know I'm definitely interested in popping on to at least watch so. Uh, or whatever, a little bit of time. I'm gonna. I'll copy that link and I'll put it in here as like an actual link for people. All right, there you go. Uh, and then Goblin said, I thought the fame only used to help rise up TFFs to get them ready for tier 1 upgrades, not necessarily uh, for FFFs. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's both, actually. So the, um, the, the Giga Fame upgrades, it's not only just for TFFs, but yeah, it really is for um, those that are newer to the ecosystem to also have a chance at, at bumping up their fame as well. So uh, I would say a mix, a mix of the two. Uh, will it be tier 3 for TFFs? Yeah, I, I, I believe, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we'll do the same, the same tier structure, uh, that we have for FFFs, for TFFs. Yeah, no, I think, I think that'll be a good, a good structure for a trade. I think, I mean, and, uh, lo logging the results too is, is pretty key. I'm curious to see what you end up getting. Because you've got a, a pretty solid sample size there. Uh, let's see. I got a question in Federation. Maybe question. Should I prioritize Foxy over Fame right now? If over level 40 TFF uh, in regards to obtaining tier 1 upgrade. Yeah. You know. It's. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean I know Goblin had commented on it. Um, if you're over 40 and focus on getting tier 1 unlocks. Yeah, it's it's really it's really up to you guys as individuals. Um, you know, I guess like like longer term, would you, you know, spend Foxy on Fame to get like higher levels on that Fox? If so, you know, what would that trade off be? What level kind of is like your main goal to get to, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, I'd say it's a little complicated. I mean, I think in the in the short term, yeah, probably to get the additional chests, so it might make sense to get more Foxy. Um, but the fame trade-off, I mean, is, is actually quite massive. I think if you, especially for a TFF, um, cause I don't have, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but just as an example, I mean, if you were to compare a TFF for six days, it's getting 150 Foxy, um, so it's the equivalent of like 450 fame. So I don't know. I think, um. I think the the Giga Fame is, in my opinion, significantly worth it in comparison. But that's me. Because for a I don't even know how much 150 Foxy is right now. You probably could buy that for like nothing. Not that you want to do that, but oh, let's see, let's see. So all the questions I see in chat, uh, anything, anybody have anything via audio? You know, I muted, uh, let's see, 
Folks that are muted, at least on my side, so if you do have a question, let me know. Is uh, Buona Strong, Chili, um, Nito, and uh, Taco, or Takoyaki. You guys, I just server muted, because I think before you guys might have had a hot mic on, so just as a heads up. Quick question, will we all be receiving the dirt bikes, or is that something that Kaz specifically is getting? Uh, is Kaz getting it, or is Kaz, Kaz giving them? Well, no, he has a dirt bike, so I was... Just curious. Where did Kaz get a dirt bike from? You mean like in portals? Yeah, he's on a dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like one of those perks for being top three in the leader work. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So Poet probably has the same one then. <laughs> he's on, he's what on. the fuck? He's on a fucking dirt bike. This thing is hilarious. How? It's so funny. It's so cute. I'm gonna assume like the like nothing actually works on it, but that's really funny. Damn, he's doing tricks. 